Hey, it might be dark out, two o'clock in the morning. It's time to head to Atlanta, Canada. This time to New Brunswick, to the famed Algonquin Resort. So I'm gonna go have a look and, well, we'll take you along. You know what's hard to beat? It's hard to beat a historic hotel. Now you can stay at every Super 8 in the universe, every Holiday Inn Express, but when you get to a historic hotel, it's something different. Now the Algonquin Resort was built first in 1889 here in St. Andrews by the Sea in New Brunswick. It's continued to be an amazing resort town for over a hundred years. In fact, I'm here this week and it's going to be the 128th anniversary of the opening of the resort. Now, golf first came here in 1894 and has continued to be a part of the picture since then. Most recently, the course was renovated by Tom McBroom in 2000. He renovated what was then a Donald Ross plan, a golf course that had certainly a great amount of history, a great amount of importance here in New Brunswick. Well, now the golf course is getting the touch of Rod Whitman, and Rod is known for a lot of great projects around the world, most notably and most recently Cabot Links in Cape Breton. He is doing an amazing job. We're going to have a look at it tomorrow and from all accounts it is stunning and the views here are amazing as well. It is a beautiful spot here in New Brunswick and certainly want to share that more with you. So historic hotels, amazing. I'll show you more of that as we go by in these next couple days. Hard to beat going down these great hallways, these large rooms, the big veranda. So if you ever get to see an image by the sea, and you can swing it, a golf pool resort is definitely the one to check out. Incredible views here all the way up the St. Croix River. Just talked to Rod Whitman and certainly cleared out a lot of trees here. Pretty impressive and from the back of the 11th green here, once you get on it, you can actually see the new 12th hole as well.
good morning, morning. Wrapping up here now at the Algonquin Resort in St. Andrews by the Sea. It's been a wonderful stay. We've had a great couple of nights here. The renovation at the hotel is certainly world class, and, and anybody who comes here will see that. As far as the golf course is concerned, certainly a lot going on there. Rod Whitman and his team are doing wonderful work at the Algonquin Resort Golf Course. The design is something special, especially on the back nine. It's certainly something a lot of people will want to see. And I'm eager to get back here to see all the changes that they're able to do. Certainly appreciate everything they've done for us here, all the team. And we're moving on to Fredericton. Uh, headed up to the links at Kingswood today to get a game of golf in there. Hopefully we'll bring you some coverage from up there. So, out for now. Uh, go check out the Algonquin Resort if you're ever down in this area. St. Andrews by the Sea, beautiful town. Nice place to walk around. Just a great spot by the sea. A lot of things that uh, you could ask for in a vacation. Check it out. Back in Ontario here, thanks to everyone in New Brunswick, it's been a fabulous four days down there. Thanks to the hospitality of Algonquin Resort, uh, to the Crown Plaza, Lord Beaverbrook in Fredericton as well, and to all the staff at uh, the golf course in Algonquin, uh, Mr. Jason Porter, fabulous time playing golf with you, to Chris Billings at uh, Kingswood as well, had a great time there, unfortunately didn't get to complete the round, uh, but uh, really enjoyed Kingswood, very interesting golf course. Looking forward to what's to come for golf in New Brunswick. Certainly thanks as well to Rod Whitman and Keith Cutton for their insight on the brand new project, the renovation at Algonquin Resort. Looking forward to seeing how it progresses over the next couple of years and turns into a significant golf property, not only for New Brunswick, but for Atlantic Canada and for Canada itself.